Now, moving on to line chart, which I told you, it's not a time series. And uh, there's something interesting about it. So the difference between a line chart and a time series, despite them looking very similar to each other, is that the line chart accepts anything, any kind of dimension as its dimension. It doesn't have to be time. It doesn't have to be date. It is not showing a trend over time from historical dates to another date in the future. It's plotting numbers for different categories and connecting them together. Okay. And this is a little bit dangerous because this connection is suggesting one, a relationship and two, a continuity between these values, which is non-existent. This is the number of users and revenue for US and this is for UK. It doesn't really mean anything. These two are not related to each other. These two do not come in order. So it seems that we are looking at a downtrend here, but it's really differences in values. There is no downtrend. I can change the, the actual the metric and then we will might be looking at something else, right? Revenue ascending, descending, or based on the actual name of the country, based on just A, B, C, D, it's start from another country. So if it's ascending, there is no such relationship. This is what I was going to point out about a line chart in the time series. We can see it's the chart line, not the time series. Sometimes we make a mistake that we start with the line chart and then we want to plot values over time. And then the months are randomized. So we have February and then January and then December and then May. If you see something, it's most likely, highly likely for sure that you're using a line chart over a time series. Time series always sorts a date values in a proper way.